Namaste, peace, love, and light. Welcome. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Energy Goddess. Okay, welcome in, love and light. Um, today's video is going to be for the beautiful zodiacs, all signs, all 12 zodiacs. Okay, we're gonna grab the messages, what needs to be her past, present, and future energies. Okay, so we're gonna grab that as well as the financial messages for all zodiac signs, okay. Welcome in. Thanks for joining me. Love and light. This period. I'm going to crank out a bunch of videos. So if you're not so, uh, subbed to the video or to the channel, make sure that you hit the subscription button. All right. Just period. Love and light to the collective. So the first sign out is uh, going to be in Virgo. We're going to grab past present messages. As well as future. So we're going to do three cards. And then we're going to do one financial message. I think. I don't know. One or three. Should we do one or three? What you guys say on TikTok? One or three financial messages. Just throw in the chat what y'all think. It should be one or three. So the first sign out again is going to be in Virgo. Okay. So this is Virgo season. Let's give them first dibbies on the read. Welcome in, everybody. Make sure you enjoy these messages that I be doing. Make sure that you like my video. <laughs> All right. Love and light. Missed you guys. I ain't talked to y'all since yesterday. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Connect me to Virgo. What do they need to hear right now? Past, present, future. Thank you. Past, present, and future for Virgo. 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 Virg. Give me your future. Tell me. Okay. First card out for the Virgo is in the nine of pentacles. This is your past energy. Okay. Uh, Virgo, I feel like you was working on yourself. You were trying to develop something about yourself. I feel like it worked. Okay. Some of you guys, it was developing the, uh, the spirit self. Okay. You were in like pretty much like self-development where it influenced a lot of who you show yourself to the world as, who you showed up to the world as. And for the most part, I'm seeing for Virgo, you know what I'm saying? Like people really starting to really respect you. You're starting to really come through as somebody that uh, people are, <coughs> excuse me, looking up to. <coughs> people are inspired by you, truthfully. Um, I don't know if they let you know it, Virgo, but they are truly inspired. You know what I'm saying? Because you're in this beautiful Nine of Pentacles energy. Um, that was definitely for the past. I don't know what you're looking like in the future because I haven't pulled that card yet. But that's a really beautiful energy right there with Nine of Pentacles, okay? Nine of Pentacles also speaks of refinement, okay? Um, refinement means... It's kind of like the process that one will go through in developing themselves um, to become better, just period, okay? On the most simplistic level, right? If I had to simplify that explanation, right? So, that's pretty good, okay? Now, in your present energy, I see the tower upside down. There could be some changes that you're experiencing for the Virgo, okay, that are uncomfortable, just period. Um, I want you to be willing to embrace whatever these changes are because with the tower, it's signifying transformation, okay? You're in a beautiful season of your own, which is Virgo, okay? It's going to be so helpful and positive, you know? And truthfully, just so influential to you, you know, that you really can't avoid this tower, Okay, this tower is bringing about a change. It's, it's for the best. Just period. Okay, I need you to know that for your uh, present energy. All right, Virgo, I love you. All right, now your future energy card is in the hermit. Okay, so for the future, Virgi, connect, you know, connect with spirit. Connect with your spirit self because I feel like, you know, your first message out was in the Nine of Pentacles, which is you pretty much nurturing that spirit self and learning how to integrate that into your earthly vessel, which is you, right? The body. Um, and so trying to integrate that higher self with the, of the hermit, right? Um, the soul, right? Into who you are in today's present physical, right? In this earthly plane. So I feel like the integration process you know, it could be challenging. It could be difficult for the Virgo, but it's nothing that I see the Virgo cannot handle. Okay? Nothing I don't see that you can't handle. Okay? So let's get your financial messages from Virgi Virgi. 
Okay, nobody ain't dropped no numbers, so I'm just going to do one message. Become independent, just period. Okay, Virgie Virg, go for it, okay? It's like you're becoming independent right now when it comes to your finances, so I want you to go for it. If you have any business ideas or business ventures or anything, just period, that's making you feel like you you could be you would have success or there would be some, some sort of gain for you there with it, you know, go with it. Go with it. Okay, the universe is urging you to go with it. Okay, you have it su full support. Just period. I love you, Virgie Virg. And next, we're gonna go into we we're gonna do just pop out all signs from each element, and we're starting off with Earth. Start off with Virgo. Next, we're going into Taurus. Hey, love bug. Yeah, when I come back from my next live, I'll probably do uh, the questions. That'll be the question portion. This right here is going to be the Zodiacs. All 12 of them. And I'm going to give a financial message as well. Past, present, future messages for all Zodiacs. So later on, I'll like come back in. So when I come back in later on, make sure you join me. All right? Pretty thing. All right? Love and light to you all. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Welcome in, TikTok fam. Supreme rising to you. Thank you, Kushite. Supreme rising to you. Love and light. Welcome in, everybody. Okay, so next earth sign we have out is going to be in... Who did I say? Taurus? All right. And we're doing Taurus. Taurus, Taurus. Love and light, sugar pea. How are you guys doing this rising? Hope everybody's rising in love and honor, happiness, and joy. Okay. Come on, Taurus. Connect me, baby. <laughs> Thank you, Taurus. First card out for the Taurus is coming in upside down as an eight of swords. So I see something from the past definitely um, had Taurus a little bit torn. You know what I'm saying? Taurus was definitely torn, definitely um, experiencing some of, the, some of the effects of what it feels like to um, put yourself through things that you that are just unnecessary. Things you just don't have to put yourself through. Just period. Okay. Um, that was in your past. Okay. Now in your present energy, you're in the seven of pentacles, which is you basically applying a lot of hard work to get yourself from out of that situation with the eight of swords. So I really, um, ooh, for the Taurus, I really see you working really hard. Maybe this is why you're kind of off to yourself. I see the Taurus very off to themselves, you know, not really wanting to deal with people, not really wanting to be bothered, just do the things that's happened in the past, you know, and just trying to learn from them um, and just be the best person that you know how to be without holding things against people that were truly out of their control. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of it happened for the Taurus in the past because Taurus allowed it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm seeing that with your eight of swords. You know what I'm saying? That you're coming out of that place with the seven of pentacles, you know, with your present energy of, you know, not no, not trying to blame anybody, but really taking true accountability and true ownership for, like, your life. Like, if anything's happened, Taurus is saying, you know what? This is my life. I'm going to take control of it. I'm going to take accountability for it and, and moving positively forward and making the work. You know what I'm saying? Like, doing the work, okay, that it takes to actually be accountable. And be responsible for yourself, you know? And that's just period. Okay. So let's get the future energy for my Virg or for my Taurus. Love it. Taurus, Taurus. Future. Give me future, please. Thank you. Taurus, tell me your future. Taurus, tell me your future. Thank you, Taurus. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. We love you, Taurus. Okay. So in the uh, future's energy, I do see the devil, which is basically bringing up any sort of addictions or things that ver uh, Taurus may need to face when it comes to obsessions, addictions, things of that nature. I want you to be very clear that when it comes to the devil card, the devil only has power that you give it. The devil only has the power that you allow it, right? You are the author, the creator, okay? This is for your future. I want you to keep this in mind, okay? The devil only has the power that you gave the devil. So if you are feeling influenced in the future or you are feeling targeted in the future or just like... 
you know, maybe I should just deal with some of the things that I've been repressing about myself. Um, just know that you have more power than you, you've given yourself credit for. And just know that whenever you're ready to be accountable and responsible, you'll be good. You'll be set. Okay, Taurus, because I really see that for you, you know, truly. The devil card, I mean, it's the devil, but notice how they're, they're tied, but they're not quite, it's not a secure tie, you know? So it doesn't, it's indicating that these people are being subdued or controlled or used by the devil because they allowed it. So I want you to keep that in mind. You see what I'm saying? So I want you to be very clear of that devil card and what that, that truly means, okay? And how symbolic it is to us here on the earthly plane, you know? Because a lot of times we'll do something and we'll say, oh, the devil, the devil, you know? But notice we've more control over the devil than we actually, you know, are willing to admit sometimes, okay? Financial messages from my beautiful Taurus. Hey, Taurus, give me a financial message, please. Okay, thank you. Okay, so Taurus, you are attracting money and luck, okay? So keep that in mind, Taurus. You are attracting money and luck right now, okay? Very beautiful energy. I could definitely uh, see that with you with the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is definitely earthly sustenance and abundance. Somebody working hard, building up, you know, hard work building. So, this pretty dope. Do you like tarot? Lily, should I pursue a career in tarot? Lily, do you like tarot? How much do you love it? Tell me how much you love it and I'll tell you if you should. I feel like the only person you're... Uh, Something that, cause, because think of it like this, only pursue things that are career, like if you plan to make a career out of it, that means like for the rest of your life, right? So only pursue things that make you happy. So if it makes you happy and you really, really love it, yes. If it makes you happy, like me, I do tarot because I love tarot. Like I love cards. I've always loved cards. Like I've always kept a deck of cards since I was a little kid around me. You know what I'm saying? Like just a regular deck of cards. Like, you know what I'm saying? So... It really um, goes hand in hand with, with someone's passion. You know what I'm saying? I would suggest it for people that have a passion for it and an affinity for it. Oh, thank you guys so much for the gifts, sweet peas. Oh, thank you, baby. Thanks for helping me reach my gift, guys. I love you guys. Sweet. Can you tell me who my spirit guide is? Yes, I can. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go live later, and we can discuss um, spirit guides. We can discuss whatever you guys really want to talk about or whatever later on. Sure, for sure. I'm just right now. I'm just doing zodiacs, and then I'm gonna grab their past, present, future messages. So that's three cards, and then one more card, which is basically four cards per zodiac. And yeah, so that's what we're doing for this particular live. But yeah, when I come back later, guys, make sure you guys are following me so you could uh, you can know when I go live. And we could talk about all that good stuff. If you guys are working or whatever, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm patient. I'll be online, so like, it's cool. Later, you gotta go to the doctor. No, 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 that's cool. You could, you could still, you could still. I mean, when you get the notification, you can still pop in and still say what you're. You know what I'm saying? Go back and forth because I know how it is. Trying to juggle everything, and you know what I mean. You can still do it. I'll be around. I'll be around, baby. Make sure you follow me, okay? All right. Love and light to you, babies. We got Capricorn out as the next Earth sign. Cappies is out in the next Earth sign. Thank you guys so much for joining. Cappies, connect me, please. Thank you, Cap. <laughs> Capricorn. Capricorn. Hey, yo, what's so crazy is why did last night, like, so I was going over, like, my natal chart or whatever, and I just discovered, like, that I had Pisces in my third house. Like, what the fuck? Bro, it was like, it was a piece of me was missing. And I was like, what is this piece? And I literally kept asking myself, what is this piece? 
Bro, I could not figure it out. I had to literally look at my fucking birth chart. It's fucking Pisces in the third house. Like, and I couldn't figure it out what it was that Pisces was trying to give me during the full moon. Hoo yay. Anyways. All right. We'll talk about it later. Let's get the messages for the beautiful Cappies, y'all. Don't get me running my mouth, y'all, because y'all know I ain't going to shut up. <laughs> not. Also, I have to do this with my husband is at work. If you can't tell me about... If you can't tell me about my... Also, I have to do this with my husband is at work. If you can't tell me about my spirit, guys, could I get a general reading? Um, when you come back, when I come back from my other, uh, live, you could, I could, we could do all of that. We could do all of that. Cause it's not going to happen on this live. For sure. Capricorn. For sure. Yeah. I mean, I don't mind doing all that type of stuff. And I, I definitely do a lot of that stuff for free. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you want to get a reading or something like that, something more specifically tailored to you um as far as you know personal you know insight things like that into your world um i do charge for that um very inexpensive but i do charge for it um the prices are listed in the introduction of the video um as well as how you can make payment to do so thank you so much i appreciate you goddess i hope you have a wonderful day okay Happy corny. What up? <laughs> Pop your shit. Okay, so Capricorn first card out is in the Nine of Pentacles as well, but it's upside down. So Capricorn, it's like you're working towards refinement. You're working towards getting better, healing, okay? Um, nurturing, um, just being a better person in general um, is what I'm hearing for the Nine of Pentacles. Um Something, something, something about you holding back or having an inability to face yourself at this time, okay, or in the past, okay, there's some sort of blockage to you seeing yourself truly for who you are, okay, as this refined, beautiful uh, specimen, just beautiful. what's going on with your current, what's up with your current, Kathy, talk to me, cat. Cappy, you talk it, you talk it, talk it like you walk it. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, now I see. Cappy, you were working on yourself in order to create more of an abundance, more of a connection with source. You know what I'm saying? Like you were working through that ego. Ooh, that's what it was. Ooh, I love it for you, Capricorn. You know, Caps, when we work on that ego, it always takes us a, a step higher, you know, into our ascended master positions okay capricorn so bless i love it for us capricorn you know just feel like we were like really trying to establish something and maybe it didn't work out to the way that you expected in the past however right now in the present i see actually with the ace of uh pentacles this sort of new income you know, possible promotion raise uh just some sort of abundance so around your energy and this is definitely because you're working. You know what I'm saying? This is because you're working at it, okay? And I love this for you, Capricorn. So I see you did work through this Nine of Pentacles energy upside down, you know, because the Nine of Pentacles came in upside down, indicating like a, a possible blockage or possible stagnation. To... Okay, let's get the future. What's going on for Capricorn's future? Thank you, Spirit. Nine of Swords. Okay, so for the future, I feel like um, Capricorn, be aware that sometimes you do this thing because you're an ascendant master, right? You do this thing like, you know, you're doing good and boom, boom, boom. And then you like self-sabotage and then you put yourself back on that same roller coaster. So I want you to be aware of how you're thinking in the future. Your thoughts are what's going to create your reality. So, Cappies, I want you in the future thinking positive, pure, good, happy thoughts of who you are. Not lying to yourself, but just on some real shit. You are the Ascended Master. And no, you're not free of making mistakes. We all make them, Cappy. You know what I'm saying? We all do. 
And I want you to stop holding it so deeply against yourself, okay? And if you need to change up your perception, do it. You know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid to do the hard work. Just period. Okay, get out of your head. But don't be afraid to, to do the hard work and then come out of your head and be present after you've done the work. Okay, to change your mental paradigm. A.K.A. your mental prison. Now remember, your mind can be your prison or your heaven. Okay, give me a financial message for my Capricorns. Financial message for my Capricorns. Okay, I'm going to stop saying it. Shady business partners, Capricorn. Be careful of shady business partners. That was your financial message, okay? At this time, Spirit's trying to uh, let you know, hey, these people ain't exactly who they claim to be, you know, something to that effect. So I want you to keep that in mind, um, Cappies. Thank you, Sweet Pea. All right. So keep that in mind. Capricorns. Okay. Next out, we're going to go with who you guys want, water, air. Shoot me a text. Let me know. Shoot it in the chat. Let me know. What y'all want to see next? Water, air? Let me know as I shuffle. Ah, we have air. Air one. So we're going to go Aquarius. So we're going with air. We're going to start out with Aquarius. Thank you, sweet pea. Savage queen. Thank you, baby. All right. So we got out the air signs. Let's get it. Spirit, connect me to Aquarius's messages. Thank you so much. First card as in the star, I see the Aquarius trusting self, trusting that star, trusting that intuition, trusting your divine self. Just period. Ow! I love to see it for you, Aquarius. I promise. Because like, okay, Aquarius was like going through a lot, you know, and by default, you always make it through, but it's like, it's it's tough as shit when you're going through it. And I know that feeling. You know what I'm saying? But I really see you trusting your intuition. Um, being more intuitively drawn or being more drawn toward your intuition and mysticism and, and that those deep, dark uh, uh, secrets of, of just mysticism in general. You know, I see you like really in that spiritual realm. You know what I'm saying? Um, also this is about you like in the past being in the spotlight and really like people, a lot of people just kind of focusing on you, um, really positive energy for the past energy for the Aquarius. Let me get the future or the current energy rather for the Aquarius. Please. Thank you. Okay. So it's in the six of pentacles. I'm seeing a lot of balance for the, uh, Aquarius currently right now. So this is probably uh, what you got from trusting your intuition, um, being able to be steadfast and be balanced, um, not just in what you give, but also in what you take and what you receive um, so that you can just create the true abundance, you know, keeping in mind others as you manifest. OK, this is the true proper manifestation with balance. I love it for Aquarius. Aquarius is in a really good space. I love this for you guys. Future energy for my Aquarius. Okay, two of wands. Some of you guys will be traveling. There's travel plans for some of you guys here. Also, a, a possible choice to make for you guys. Okay, ooh, this is spicy. It's gonna be passionate decisions of passion, love. You know all that good stuff. So I like this for Aquarius. Let me get a financial message for Aquarius. I don't know. I see Aquarius trying to make like some higher level commitment, possibly for some Aquariuses. Um, but choosing something. So Aquarius is right now, I was going to call you Sagittarius, my bad Aquarius. Um, Aquarius right now is trying to choose something. You're trying to figure something out. Hmm. Hmm. Damn. I kind of want to clarify y'all damn, uh, but I'm not. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm getting. Uh, Aquarius is kind of really trusting themselves. They're really in a uh, very good space spiritually. That's what I'm seeing. And the way that it's affecting you positively in the earthly plane, meaning here on earth, is is balanced. And I love that for you, Aquarius. On some real shit. No, for real. <clears throat> Give me a financial message for Aquarius. She said facts. 
Let's get it. Financial messages from my Aquarii. Okay. Shady business partners. Why the fuck did that keep popping the fuck out? Hold on. Let me get you another one. Hold on. Let me just... Oh. Let me get one more from my Aquarii, please. God damn. You know what? But I do want you to hear that message. Y'all got shady business partners. That was y'all first... My bad. That was y'all first message. So I'm just going to grab one more just because that came out with the other which was in Capricorn, but I just want to make sure that I give it a beautiful shot. So just really... Okay, that's three. Oh, shit. Give me a message for a prayer, please. Okay. Invest, investigate, and follow up. So if you are dealing with shady business partners, they're asking, spirit is suggesting, like, go out and investigate these motherfuckers because maybe, you know what I'm saying, like, you're, I feel like intuitively, um, for your past energy with the star card, a message is coming in about, in the past, you might have intuitively knew that something wasn't right or something wasn't legit with some, some sort of business deal or some sort of something, right? You knew, Aquarius knew. Maybe you didn't follow up or whatever. So now you're being prompted to, okay, follow up on that. Investigate. See what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, be a little nosy Aquarius self and find out because it might be something that you could fix or something that you could get yourself out of or, you know. So just investigate and see what the fuck this is all about when it comes to your finances or any type of investments. Uh, business, business wise, okay. For my Aquariuses, love you, Aquarius. Okay, next out we have it in Libra. Come on, Libra. A message is from my Libra. Libra, come on, Libra. And I'm really affected by my Libra right now because it's in the tenth house, literally, and like the second. And the uh, 10th house right now for Sagittarius is really being affected. So, let's get it. Let me see what y'all about to say about Libra. Now, nah, I ain't do Gemini. They about to be next, though, baby. We about to do all air signs, and then we're going to slide in the water. They're going to be next. Jimmy's is next after Libra. Okay, bet. I got you. We're going into Scorpio. I was going to say fire or water. Fire or water after the air. <laughs> Come on, babies. Thank y'all. <laughs> Welcome in, y'all. Living light. Hey, Libra, Libra, Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. What you talking about, Libra? What you talking about? Talk your shit. Page of Pentacles, okay? So, some of you guys are... For the Libra, it's going to be like... Money also it's gonna be like a possible raise. So for in the past, Libra was experiencing like money abundance, a possible new raise, you know, promotion, just good news around the finance. Okay, just period. Okay, and that was a, definitely a blessing for the Libra. But tell me what's going on in the present right now. What's going on in the present for my Libras? Okay, it's in a Knight of Cups. I feel like many Libras right now are focused on romance, focused on love, you know, and how to connect with that. Mm, I love it for you, Libra. Do it, baby. Do it. Do it, baby. Stick it. All right. The High Priestess, okay, is coming out in your future. So I want you to remember, Libra who you are okay ascended master please all right um you are the high priest high priestess okay and you like all the other ascended masters have a duty okay to trust yourself as well as you know the high priestess this message that's coming in with this is Whatever secrets, whatever mystery that you have, um, I feel like it's something worth you investing in. Just period. For some of you Libras, like, Libra supposed to be doing some dope-ass spiritual stuff. And I don't know. I feel like somebody, I don't know who this message is for because I'm channeling this literally right now. But somebody is not taking advantage of their full capacity of who they are spiritually. And you have gifts that 
it's not about the monetization and you monetize on it. This is more so about your soul wanting you to get out there and, and just put yourself out there and just be comfortable in your own skin. Okay. This is more so about that. Okay. And, and if this makes you money in the future, Libra, kudos to you. Okay. For being a dope ass, badass. I'm going to chase my dreams. I don't give a fuck who's trying to stop me. You know what I'm saying? Kudos to you, Libra. Like, for real. Like, I don't know who that was for, but that was for somebody, okay? Let me get a financial message for my Libra. She said me. <laughs> okay. Me too, Betty. <laughs> me too. <laughs> financial message for my Libra, please. Oh, Lord. Yes, honey. We in it together. If it's you, it's me. If it's me as you, shit. Woo! Baby. Cryptocurrency. Ooh, see? Maybe that's what it was. Cryptocurrency, big money. Somebody's loaded. Jackpot, okay? So, Libra, keep that in mind moving forward. Those are your financial messages, okay? Go ahead and figure out what this is about this cryptocurrency because possibly you have an uh, opportunity right now or sometime in the future to invest. Okay, and make a lot of money, like for real. Somebody could be loaded jackpot there, like for real. Let's see who we got next. We got Gemini. Come on, Gemini. Going through a lawsuit. Oh, yes. So, yeah. Yeah. Come on, Gemini. Pop your sheet. Pop your sheet. Gemini. Thank you, Gemini. What are you gonna say? Pass energy for the gem. Pass for the gem. Thank you. Okay, we have it in the strength card for the Le or for Leo. Whoa. For the Gemini, I want you to be strong. There's something, you know, something in your past that you went through that you had to be really strong for. You know what I'm saying, Gemini? And I feel like this could be like a death for some of you guys. Also a death. This could be like family or people that you care about that you've held really, really deep. And like you haven't been able to get over or something like that. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, this channel message is for somebody. I don't know who it's for, but they're saying that there was a death or some, something that happened in the past that was very difficult for the Gemini to get over. You know what I'm saying? And the difficult, the difficulty that you're experiencing is, be, is because you're not... I feel like connect to this person. Whoever this person that passed away, I feel like you should speak to their spirit or talk to their soul because it's, it still lingers around you. It, it still follows you. It's very much present in your life. And I feel like you should connect with this, this uh, person because they really cared about you. And they also want to help you in the ethereal realm. Just period. I just need you to know that. Okay. Connect me to... Gemini's present. Thank you. Gemini's present. Okay, it's the star. I swear to God, I can't make this up. Yo, listen. Gemini, you got to trust yourself. This person or entity that has passed away has been trying to conf contact you. But you don't, you don't trust the communication. You don't know if it's this person or if it's something else. You need to work more deeply with your spirit guides, okay, from a Gemini, okay? The reason why is because you're an ascendant master, okay? And you've always been an ascendant master, okay? When I say these signs are ascendant masters, like you've always been. This is ancient knowledge, okay? This isn't something that energy just pulled out of her butt, you know? This is real talk, okay? So I want you to keep that in mind, okay? Gemini, when I, I cannot be stressed enough, you... My loves are so deeply connected in the spiritual realm. It's not even funny. It's no coincidence that you're a Gemini. Like, I need you to know who the fuck you are. Like, on some real shit. Like, you 
are connected. So the moment that you say, I'm going to connect to that realm, they are waiting. They are going to be there for you. And they're clapping, they're rooting, they're fucking cheering you on, Gemini. I want you to connect to them and, and get what they have to give you because they can help you in this realm. You know what I'm saying? On some real shit, like, go and connect with whoever this is. Someone passed away and they love the fuck out of you. It's your ancestor. Okay? Just need you to know that. Connect me to Gemini's future. Okay, it's in the page of wands. Okay, this is about you. Okay, being creative, having that spark to kind of find the energy, the passion, you know, finding the love. Like, where, how do I find the passion, the love for myself, or the love for possibly connecting to this ethereal realm? You know, I feel like Gemini, you could be definitely overwhelmed. You could definitely be in need of uh, solace, you know, which is just like a rest, some sort of vacation or some sort of time to yourself. You could definitely be in severe need of that. So if you need a break, just get take a break, you know, work and all that stuff is going to be there when you get back, you know, but your mental health and your spiritual health is more important than anything irregardless of what they've made us you know taught us to believe you know what i'm saying which is that finances is more important than your spirit self and your physical self which is fucking bullshit and we all know it right gems let me give you a financial message beloved we're going into water signs i think they said scorpio as the first water sign so I think it'll go Scorpio Pisces and Cancer. Financial messages for my gems. Financial messages for my Gemini. Thank you. Try money magic rituals. They work. Okay. Gemini, try money magic rituals because they really work. All right. Some of you guys want to create abundance. Some of you guys, it's creating... Um, some sort of extra income or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Extra little piece of change. And you deserve it. So go ahead and try the money rituals. You know what I'm saying? Like, get creative. Like, Gemini, please. Connect to who the fuck you are. Like, you're connected spiritually. And, like, you have people that fucking work with you. And, and, and don't forget, not only do you have the people, but you have the cosmos, the stars, Mercury, Jupiter, like, you know how abundant these energies are? Let me tell you something also. Sidebar, Mercury's energy is also known as Buddha. They also call it Buddha in different cultures, okay? Buddha, Mercury, that's the same energy, okay? Now, Buddha, Mercury, we all know it's about abundance, okay? But you have to communicate the abundance, right? Mercury, communication. So communicate the abundance. Tell the money where to go. Tell it come to you, Jim. And that's for everybody. Shit. Come on, man. Let go, let go. Okay. We got out. Water signs. Thank you, spirit. We got our water signs. We're going to start out in Scorpio. <laughs> she said, okay, I will. I know that's right. Snatch rat. <laughs> Giddy, let giddy. Scorpio, come on, babies. We got our Scorpios, first water sign. Thank you, spirit. We got our Scorpios, Scorpio, Scorpios. My Scorpio, Scorpiana. Scorpiana. My Scorpiana. Okay, so I see the four of wands. Some of you guys in the past, like it's like your home life, you it was kind of messed up. And like in the past, you was trying to get that together, like make it more stable for yourselves or make it more of a home, you know, just period for the Scorpio. Um, and I definitely see you work, you were working at that in the past. Okay, let me get your present energy for you, Scorpio. Now in your present, I see you in the Queen of Swords. I feel like uh, things from your past, like you could be holding it against yourself a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You could feel just a little somewhat disconnected right now just due to some of the changes that you had to make. 
I feel like Scorpio is disconnected because Scorpio had to get their shit together. And Scorpio was like, damn, I didn't want to fucking have to grow up and be the fucking grown up and the responsible one. Like, I didn't ever sign up for this shit. Like, why the fuck I got to, ooh, ooh, I don't like it. <laughs> it's what Scorpio is giving me right now. Like, you are disconnected from everything. Because it's like, again, with the past energy, with the, with the four wands coming in upside down, something that in your home, and the home doesn't always mean physically the home. The home, remember, you are the altar, the home, the house. So something with you, deep within inside of you, wasn't correct. And so you had to go in and go fix that in the past. And due to the you having to go fix and repair that, it created some sort of disconnect between you and the rest of the world. You know what I'm saying? It just has you in your mind. It has you overthinking and overprocessing the situation instead of considering the fact that, hey, I'm pretty much fucking human like everybody else. Fuck. Right? So Scorpio is recognizing that not only do you have these dope ass fucking superpowers, but you're actually a part of your superpowers is being human. You know what I'm saying? And just allowing that. You know what I'm saying? Allow it, man. We can't we can't be perfect. You know what I'm saying? We can't be perfect and stop trying to be. Future messages from my Scorpio. I feel like you're doing really good. You're in a really good place. Even though I'm seeing the Queen of Swords as your current energy, you know. But it's also like it's something that was needed. Because Scorpio needed to create healthy boundaries. Scorpio needed to learn how to um uh be accountable and be strong on yourself, you know, and and and, and um up, up apply. You know what I'm saying? Discipline. On some real shit. For Scorpio to do that, you know what I'm saying? Maybe it turns you a little hard. I just think it's a part of you, though. It's too Scorpio. You know what I'm saying? Your, your hardness is, is very much a part of you. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I don't feel like telling you that to, to, to lower that or quiet that down is, like, the best. You know what I'm saying? Like, be you. Like, authentically you. Like, I, f I feel like basically what I'm saying is with this Queen of Swords is it's a... It's cool. It's like, it's it's okay. I get it. I get why you're in this space. You know what I'm saying? And feeling disconnected. You know what I'm saying? It's being one of the Ascended Masters. I, I totally get it. Because we go through so much, excuse me, in order to, 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 to reach the Ascended uh, position. And the thing is, is it's difficult. It's very difficult. That's why a lot of people don't, they start the journey and they don't complete. They, they won't finish, Right. So that's that's um that's pretty much what this is, you know. This is Scorpio saying, you know what? It was tough as fuck, and damn, this, some of this shit is hurting, some of this shit is painful, some of this shit is difficult, whatever, right? But Scorpio saying, you know what? It's nothing that I can't handle, and it's nothing that I won't handle. Like a Scorpio putting on their their um, grown up shoes, you know what I'm saying, to handle life. You know, their matured shoes to handle life. You know what I'm saying? From, from the mature, ascended aspect of yourself, you know? You know, for like mainly you're just cutting out the bullshit. Like if it was bullshit, you're cutting it out. Just period. Okay, connect me to the uh, future messages for, ooh, it's in the Three of Cups. Some of you guys will be celebrating. Some of you guys will be having some sort of friendship, some sort of rekindling of, uh, you know, just some sort of happy times for my Scorpios. Just period. With some friends, some possible lovers. Um, but I'm seeing friends. Yep. I love it. Ooh, Scorpio, you're mastering your value. Ooh, this is really good. So this is why you feel the Queen of Swords energy really deeply is because you're mastering your value, okay? And so Scorpio is, was devaluing self, okay? Scorpio's learning that. Ha, ha, ha. I got to put a little... <laughs> I got to up my price. <laughs> I'm worth way more than that. And... I mean, it sucks because Scorpio's looking at it like, man, I could have been making way more. <laughs> I could have been charging them way more. And so Scorpio, I feel like it's not you taking it harder on anybody else. I feel like you're taking it harder on yourself than you are to anybody else on some real shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you're like recognizing your value, your worth. And that that's a lot. That's deep. That shit get deep. You feel me, Scorpio? Like, it get deep. Cancer. Wait, who was that? Pisces. We don't want Pisces. Pisces, Pisces. Come on in. Pisces. 
Pisces. Pisces. Dang it, I forgot to mail that letter out. Mm -mm. I guess I'll mail it in a second. Well, mail didn't run yet. I guess I can give it to... I don't want to give it to the mailman. What if he don't put it in... What if he don't mail my letter? <laughs> like, it's only his job, but what if he don't? <laughs> I feel secure when I drop my letter in the mailbox, like a real mailbox, because I know they're going to pick it up and put it in, you know, send it out. <laughs> I am so old school. It's ridiculous. Like, this is ridiculous. Okay. Come on out. Come on out, Pisces. Thank you, Pisces. Oh, shit. There we go, Pisces. Pop your shit. Welcome to the read, Pisces. Come on now. First card out for Pisces. I see in the past, Knight of Cups. Pisces was trying to work on romance, some sort of love or offer, something like that. Okay. But I feel like for Pisces, that Pisces just wasn't in that space to really receive the love. But you was you wanted it, but you weren't in a space of receiving it. You know what I'm saying? So Pisces, you was it was very difficult what you were facing in the past. I mean, though beautiful, it was very difficult. Okay. And so I see you learned your lesson in the present, in your current energy, is of the world. Facing right side up, which just means that you learned a lesson. Okay, you did learn a lesson in love. And I see Pisces wanting to communicate. I see the world as a sort of communication, wanting to communicate to someone, open up, reach out. Okay. <sighs> Clarifying. Or uh, give me the future energy on Pisces. Future energy on Pisces. Pisces. Two of Pentacles. So some of you guys, I feel like for Pisces, you were trying to choose business and love. But I feel like right for the future, you're going to be trying to choose business-wise or how to balance love and business for the Pisces. And that's very difficult because Pisces, I'm going to tell you, you're not the only one trying to do that out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, So for the Pisces, getting this message is like, look. You could do whatever the fuck you want to do. You know what I'm saying? But you're going to have to persevere. You're going to have to be patient with yourself. You're going to have to be patient with this other person. I feel like you and this other person are in the perfect spot to make something happen. You know what I'm saying? Make something twerk between you two, you know? But you're going to have to be willing to uh, uh, be mature. You're going to have to be willing to be accepting um, of where you are. I feel like Pisces, Pisces is also learning how to mature. How to, how to mature. Pisces is maturing. You know, it's like growing growing pains for the Pisces. You know? Just period. Let me get your financial messages for my Pisces. Pisces! Financial messages for the Pisces. Oh, there we go. Take a risk. Yeah. Pisces, you want to go... You want to connect with somebody you want to connect to somebody i feel like this is a financial message or whatever but that's they're, they're telling you to take a risk in business and finances but also i feel like that message came out to say take a risk on love too with that two of pentacles because you see that with your your past energy or your uh uh, uh future energy you know what i'm saying so to go kind of hand in hand with that two of pentacles it's like take a risk on trying to balance out your life and you'll see how actually that you're very capable of balancing both love and business. Okay? Just period. All right. Going into... Who do we got? Cancer. Cancer's messages. Let me cancer there. Hello. Cancer. Hello. <laughs> What's up, Prince? Cancer. Thank you, Cancer. Okay, first card out is in the chariot. I feel like Cancer's right now trying to learn how to follow your spirit, how to listen to spirit, you know? When you see the chariot out, it's like somebody's trying to connect with spirit. Either they need to or they, they're being 
urge to connect with spirit okay second message out is in the ten of pentacles which is your current energy right now i feel like connecting with spirit is a lot of abundance because cancer you forget you have a huge community you have a whole bunch of people that support you in the ethereal realm okay cancer because you're the mother's sign hello <laughs> They love you. <laughs> okay, Cancer. And oftentimes it's really just in the doing the work. You know what I'm saying? For the Cancer, it's like for real, for real. That's like all of us. You know what I'm saying? It's just in the doing the work. You know what I'm saying? And getting back realigned with the purpose, the mission. You know what I'm saying? And doing the work. So Cancer's really getting their shit together. Just period. I'm smiling because I can see you, Cancer. Like for real, for real. Give me the future energy for Cancer. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so it's in the Nine of Cups. You're going to get what you want. Cancers, you're going to get what you want. Your uh, future messages is in the Nine of Cups. Some of you guys were asking for something, and you're going to get it. Cancer's been working really hard, just period, all right? And I'm really happy and excited for you, Cancer. Your financial message is security and growth and legacy. I cannot make this fucking shit up, right? I cannot fucking make this shit up. Like some of you guys don't even know how connected you are in the ethereal realm and you connecting to that ethereal realm for assistance is going to bring in earthly abundance because they like, okay, cancer fuck, fuck with us. You know what I'm saying? Let me show cancer what the fuck we, how we do it, how we do it, where we at. You feel me? Like, so they trying to come through and bring something down for cancer because cancer's really been manifesting on some positive ish. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, for real. Like, Cancer been really getting to it. And I'm really proud of you, Cancer. Keep going. Kudos to Cancer. Word. That's what's up. Hey, that's what's up. Okay. Final signs we have them out in fire. What y'all want to see first? Aries Leo Sag. What y'all want to see first? Aries Leo Sag. I'm going to get y'all first divvies while I shuffle. TikToky. What y'all want to do first? Aries Leo uh, Sag. I want to say, Jim, why keep want to stick the uh, air signs in the fucking fire signs? I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Come on, Prince. What you doing down there, bro? Making all that noise. Thank you, spirit. Oh, shit. Okay, so we're going to start out Leo. Leo, Leo. Thank you, Leo. Connect me to the messages for Leo. Thank you, Leo. No, that's who I don't got in my chart. I don't have no Leo. Even though I am Leo, like, regardless of whether they're in your chart, you have, you are all 12 Zodiacs, like, all of us. We are all 12 zodiacs. We just only learn about our sun signs. You know what I'm saying? That's just tradition that we only learn about our sun signs. You know, it's up to us to do the due diligence to learn the other aspects of our natal chart, you know? So do the due diligence. Do the follow-up that it takes to learn about your natal chart. Because once you do it, then you already have the information and then you can later study it at your convenience. You know what I'm saying? But do the work it takes like five seconds to get all your natal information. You just, boom, pop it in. They got all of these different apps. And so that should be like a regular thing. Like you should know your, your natal chart. You should know your kid's natal chart. Like, yeah, that should be like a regular thing. We should be learning that like on a regular, like for real, for real. Okay. We got our Leo. First card for the Leo is the new beginning. So in the past, Leo was definitely working on the future. So I have some sort of new beginnings for the Leo. Um, Leo is definitely having like a fresh start. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, taking a time. Just really having a new beginning for the Leo. You know what I'm saying? A fresh new start. That was really pretty much, you know what I'm saying, the past energy. Connecting to the future or the present, excuse me. Connect me to the present. Presently. Presently, Leo. Presently, Leo. Mm. Showing up as yourself, Leo. The strength. Love it. 
presently Leo is really dominant and presently Leo is really like I don't want to say self-absorbed because it's not really a fucking the word I'm looking for it's more like Leo is being themselves like authentically like but the highest version of self you know what I'm saying? Like your higher version of you, Leo. And this is a really good message because to see that currently, that means that your your past start to your new beginning got off on a good foot, right? Okay, so that's a really good message. I'm excited for you, Leo. Let's see what your future has to say. Future for the Leo, baby. Seven of Wands, okay? Leo. Okay, Seven of Wands indicates... Just protect yourself in the future. You know what I'm saying? For Because I feel like for Leo, it's not like you need to protect yourself against anything except for like competition. Because sometimes people compete with you and you don't really see that they're competing with you because you are in this camaraderie kind of energy. Or you think a lot of people love you because they show you fake love. And you genuinely love people, whereas they're faking Okay, so I feel like Leo had to learn a lot of that was a lot of part of what you learned in the past with the fool card. You know what I'm saying? Learning how to see people for who the fuck they truly are instead of the version of what you wanted to see. And I feel like that had very much a lot to do with you starting over and starting to re evaluate yourself you know, um, and, and how you see people in the world, you know, from a realistic standpoint. Okay, so that's what I feel like your new beginning with the fool was representing, you know. Okay, let's get some, uh, let's get a financial message for my Leo. Hey, you fuck. Financial message for my Leo. Thank you, Leo. Okay, balance your finances. Tell your money where to go, Leo. Leo, you got to balance your finances. And tell your money where you want it to go. Just period. And again, I'm going to reiterate that message for all world signs. When you speak it to your money, you tell it where to go. I need you to go to my bank account. I need you to go to my savings account. I need you to go to, you know what I'm saying? I need, all bills are paid. Like, I need you speaking these things, okay? All right. Next sign out we're going to do is in Aries. Messages from my Aries. Thank you, Aries. Thank you, Aries. Thanks for showing up with your mean ass. I love you, Aries. I do, I do, I do. I do. I do, I do, I do. I do, I do, I do. <laughs> All right. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. <laughs> Ooh, nine of wands. So in the past, Aries had to put up a lot of boundaries around their heart space because I feel like you went passionately into a love offer or some sort of love commitment, whatever this was. You know, maybe rushing a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So now maybe in hindsight, having learned a thing or two from past decisions that were maybe not as beneficial as you wanted them to be, um, just learning from that shit. You know what I'm saying? Now you're in it, or in the past, you were in the energy of, hey, now I got to create healthy boundaries, you know what I'm saying, around my heart space. Hey, love, welcome in. You know? Uh, that's really where your energy is right now. Just period. Connect me to the current Aries. Current Aries. Aries in your current. Aries current is, ooh, it's upside down in the lovers. I feel like Aries right now, you could be conflicted with lovers, like having a choice between multiple options and just being really conflicted. I feel like Aries, the reason why you're conflicted is because you're not seeing somebody for who they truly are. Remember Aries, your past energy was of the nine of wands, which basically means boundary. So I want you to keep those in place because this new relationship is prompting you and showing you something from your past that you need to remember while establishing what's new and what's current for you, okay, when it comes to love. Now, let's get a future message for my fucking marriage. <laughs> That's how I sound in the rising. Oh, my voice be scratchy as shit. 
Ooh. Okay. So future energy for the Aries and the Three of Cups. I see a celebration, happy moments, um, possible engagement for some of you Aries. That's some real shit. Or just a higher level of commitment. You know what I'm saying? Somebody wanting to um, commit more than just friends, you know, for my Aries. Just period. I love that for you, Aries. And also celebrations with friends, though, too. What else? Give me financial messages for my Aries. Ooh. Mm -hmm. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Think long term, resources and security. See, this this is that message coming in again. So in the past, you might have invested or did uh, I don't know the way that you did your money or finances or whatever it was with this other relationship paradigm. It's like your spirit guides are urging you to not do it the same exact way. They want you to do things differently and learn from how you did that in the past. And not do the same shit the same way. You see what I'm saying? They like, oh, if you keep doing the same shit, you're gonna constantly get what you always get. <laughs> That's what it took me to tell you. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Oh shit. Okay. Then final signs we have out fire. Final messages will go to Sagittarius. Hey, Sagittarius. Supreme Rise and Ascended Masters. <laughs> hey, Sagittarius. Do I sound like a horse when I did that? No. All right. I'm going to try. I'm going to keep working on my horse voices. My horse sounds. I'm going to keep working on them. They're not that good right now. I ain't been up there long, so, you know, my voice got to Hold on. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I got a show. I got a, I got a show pony back here. He's working. All right. Saji. Saji. Saji, Saji. Saji, where is your pass? Won't you pass message? Ooh, the emperor. Some of you guys were definitely in the past kind of doing the same shit over and over and over and over. And I felt like it kind of didn't really lead to anything. And I felt like, you know, maybe Sagittarius, like in the past, like you were trying to find like what was the proper balance? What was the proper routine? What was the proper, how am I supposed to be doing this? You know what I'm saying? And that's what you were pretty much trying to figure out for Sagittarius. Now I'm going to get a current energy as well. Give me current energy. Four of Cups. I feel like there's offers in the uh, heart space. I feel like um, Sagittarius can look forward to offers of love um, and just higher levels of commitment. Just people just loving you, period. Um, also just giving you offers because they love you. Um, just giving you things because they care about you. Just genuinely on some real shit with that four cups is what I'm hearing. Mm, I love that. Connect me to the future. Thank you, spirit. Oh, it's in the king of cups. I love to see it. <laughs> I love to see it. It's in the King of Cups. Talks about here somebody being very supportive. And like I said, when it comes to this Four of Cups and this Knight of Cups, the King of Cups talks to somebody being really supportive and somebody really wanting to help someone. Okay, so possibly whoever's coming in to love on you, they want to like help out with finance. They want to help. They want to bring love. They want to bring money. They want to bring whatever the fuck they need to bring to the table. Like. It's like whatever you want, kind of, is what I'm hearing, you know, because um, it's just genuine. It's just the, the love. It's just genuine here. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you've been doing, Sagittarius, it's, it's really working out for you. You're in the Emperor's energy from the past, you know, and I feel like that was you pretty much also just planning and just being really strategic, you know what I'm saying, about your time and just everything in general, you know, for this uh, Sagittarius. Ooh, let me get a financial message for Sagittarius. Financial message for Sagittarius. Okay. Try money magic rituals. They work. Ooh. And you want to know what's so fucking funny? Is literally before I came live, I was like, I'm going to do a money ritual. Hmm, which one do I want to do? And so I was like, 
you know what? Well, fuck that. I'm about to go. Through, I'm about to go through the live, and then after I get done doing my live, I'm gonna figure out which which one I'm gonna do. And that is so fucking funny that you would motherfucking say that. How synchronistic is that, right? Thank you, spirit. I love you. I love myself. I love myself. Self. I love you. <laughs> All right, guys, so that will conclude the Zodiac messages for today. All right, I'll be back a little later to do a live and we'll get into the specifics of whatever we want to talk about. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Make sure you guys, if you're not already, make sure you go to YouTube and sub to this uh, channel. Just period. Love you guys. Peace.